Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. This time, ang i-discuss natin ay measures of variability. Ang measures of variability indicate the extent to which ang individual items in a series or a given set of data are scattered about an average. Ang measures of variability is also known as measures of dispersion. Na classify into measures of absolute dispersion and measures of relative dispersion. Una natin i-discuss ang measures of absolute dispersion. Ito ay expressed in the units of the original observation. Let's discuss range. Ang pag-solve sa range, determine ang highest value and lowest value, then get the difference. Let's have an example. Ang IQ scores ng five members of Morales family are 108, 112, 127, 116, and 112. Ang highest value is 127. Lowest value is 108. Or 127 minus 108 plus 19. That's the range. May dalawang tools pa ang measures of absolute dispersion. Ang standard deviation and ang variance. Kung ang given set of data is population, then we have capital letter N for the population size. Therefore, we have population variance and we have population standard debate. Ang population variance, ito yung formula. Meron siyang exponent 2, small letter sigma is exponent 2. Ang population standard deviation, just take the square root of this. So, mawala na yung exponent 2 dito. So, may yung st population standard deviation. Pero na, the same with this. Ang given set of data ay sample. So we have to use sample variance or sample standard deviation. From this one, maging small letter n, n minus 1. In computational formulas in so determining the formula for sample variance and sample standard deviation. So ito na yung formula ng sample variance. The same process in determining the standard deviation. So we just take the square root of this. It will become sample standard deviation. So the sample standard deviation, the sample variance, population standard deviation, population variance. Now, how to interpret standard deviation and variance? The smaller the value of the variance or standard deviation, the lesser the variability of the individual item in the given set of data about an average. Of course, the greater the value, the greater the variability or dispersion. Let's have an example. Five households showed the following number of household members. We have three members in one household, eight members, five members, four members, and four members. All the standard deviation. So sa problem pa lang, na mention nga siya nga, the data is sample. Therefore, we have to use sample standard deviation. Remember, this one is ungrouped. There is another formula in solving for group data, meaning data presented in distribution. So going back, we have to solve this first. Para substitute na lang siya sa formula. So square ang bawat score. This one is 9, 64, 25, 16, 16. Ang total is 180. Kailangan din natin ng value nito, open close parenthesis, it is raised to the power of 2. So 3 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4 plus 4, then raised to the power of 2. The sum of this is 24, raised to the power of 2 equals 576. I substitute na lang sa formula. Ang n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 times the answer of this is 130. So 5 times 130 minus the answer of this, this one is 576. So 5 times 130 minus 576 equals 74 over 20. Why? 5 times 5 minus 4. So 5 times 4 is 20. 74 divided by 20, then take the square root, it's 1 point. So as I mentioned, ungrouped data. What if group data? Meaning the data already presented in frequency distribution. We have to use this formula. Again, small letter n, 
is the size of the sample, meaning number of observations. Ang F in the frequency distribution, it's the frequency. This one is the class mark. This one, frequency times class mark, then open close parenthesis raised to the power of two. Let's have an example. Utilize the scores of 110 students in an achievement test. So yung row scores ng 110 students already presented in frequency distribution. So how to construct this? Just watch the video, yung lecture video natin about frequency distribution or data presentation. So how many scores, how many students get scores from 50 to 54? There are 10 students. How many students get scores from 55 to 59? There are three students. So you meaning of frequency. The total of this is equal to 110. Then we will also need to know the values of the class mark. How to solve class mark? Lower limit plus upper limit divided by 2 is 52. 55 plus 59 divided by 2 57. 60 plus 64 divided by 2 is 60. And just continue the process. This process. one is frequency times class mark. So 10 times 52 is 520. 3 times 57, 171. 8 times 62, 496. Then just continue the process. Frequency times class mark, frequency times class mark. Then e add it to lahat. The answer is 8145. This one is x squared. So you score first x, then times the frequency. You have 52 squared times 10. You have 27040. 57 squared times 3, 9747. 62 squared times 8, 3075. The same process, 67 squared times 13, 72 squared times 17, 77 squared times 19, 82 squared times 20. Let's continue that one. Then, i-add ito lahat. So, yung result, 616265. And we will just substitute that in our formula. You have N is 110. Ang answer nito, this one, check this one. Answer nito is, Oh, 616265. Ang answer nito is 8145. Pero meron pa siyang exponent na 2. This one is 110 times 109. That's it. Substitute na lang. Then, i-compute ito. Remember, multiply muna. Then, this one, 8145 raised to the power of 2. So 1448125 over 110 divided by uh, times 109. Then take the square root, it's 10.99. Therefore, the sample standard deviation of the 110 students presented in frequency distribution table is 10.99. Let's have measures of relative dispersion. And measures of relative dispersion are unitless, meaning wala siyang unit of measurement and are used when one wishes to compare the scatter of one distribution with another distribution. So two or more groups pwede gamitin ang relative dispersion. We have coefficient of variation, or CV. It's the ratio of the standard deviation to the mean and usually expresses in percentages. The formula, we have CV. If the data is population, we have population standard deviation over population mean, then you multiply it by 100. Kaya, ang result ng CV is in percent. If the given data is sample, we have, this one is letter S, sample standard deviation over X bar, which is the sample mean. Let's have an example. A laboratory technician studied recent measurement made two different instruments. And first, measure the diameter of the old bearing and obtain a mean of 4.96. Ang standard deviation ay 0.022 mm. Ang second mes measured the diameter of the metal rod and obtain a mean of 6.48 mm with a standard deviation of 0.032 mm. Ang question, which of the follow, which of the two instruments was relatively more precise? So dapat dito ay smaller value of CV. Yun ang pinaka-precise. So, isolve natin ang CV ng bawat instrument. Let's have instrument 1. 
So, ang standard deviation ng instrument 1 is 0.022. Ang mean is 4.96. Then, we will multiply that by 100%. The result is 0.4% for instrument 1. Ang instrument 2, ang standard deviation is 0 0.032. Ang mean is 6.48 times 100 is 0 0.49. So lesser C B ang instrument 1. So our conclusion would be instrument 1 was relatively more precise compared to instrument 2. Standard score. Ang standard score measures how many standard deviations an observation is above or below the mean. Computed as this using this formula. If the data is population, use this formula. If the data is sampled, use this formula. But same concept. Ang standard score is not a measure of relative dispersion, but it is somewhat related. Standard score is useful comparing two values from different series, especially when these two series differ concerning the mean or standard deviation or both are expressed in different units. Kaya mas appropriate ang this score. Let's have an example. Si Ruel, meron siyang grade in English na 75. Ang grade niya sa history ay 90. So kung titignan natin dito, mas mataas ang grade ni Rowell sa history compared sa English. Pero kung i-compare natin yung performance ni Rowell sa ibang classmates, ano kaya yung performance niya relative to the performance of classmates in the class? Eh kailangan natin ang data. Kailangan natin ang mean grade earned by the students in English and the standard deviation. Pareho sa English and History. So this time, ang mean grade sa English 65%, ang standard deviation is 10%. Whereas, ang History, ang mean grade is 80% and the standard deviation is 20%. Which subject did Uruwen perform better relative to the performance of other students in the class? So ang solution, let's solve the Z-score for History and solve din natin ang Z-score for English. So ang Z-score ng English is 1.0. What will be the C-score of history? 90 minus 80 is 20. So 90 minus 80 is 10. 10 divided by 20 is 0.5. So Z-score of history is less than the Z-score of English. So our conclusion would be we will perform better in English compared to history because it has a higher Z-value compared to history. English has a higher Z value compared to history. Ayun, you are done with measures of variability. Again, wag yung kalimutan mag subscribe para updated kayo palagi sa lecture. Bye.